Okay, so here we are. So this is first coat done. There's a few other things that I thought I would quickly mention that I didn't earlier, but anyway, first coat is done. Now I've got my little heater running on my pest controller, so I use those in some of my jobs. So I've got a couple of good industrial heaters. The big doors are done, as you can see. There they are then, all nicely sitting there. Um, all finished. Now, what I do is, any excess paint that's left over in the tray, I don't, I, I have in the past um, bagged it up, so you can put a bag over this stuff, or a cloth, damp cloth, and it'll stay there, and you can wet the roller up, and then you can use it again a few hours later. Um, I'm not doing that in this case because it does state on the tin that if the paint has been left um, standing for a couple of hours or so, you've got to re-stir it all. So then don't forget all that paint in your tray is also going to have left standing. It probably wouldn't matter too much, but look, they say it, do it. Read the tin, do it. Um, it saves you any grief down the track, basically, doesn't it? Um, so I've put the tiny little bit that was left in there, there wasn't a great deal left. Um, and you actually don't use a great deal. I could get away with all of these panels. I could probably get away with um, four coats on this with that one tin. So it covers a lot and there's 27 panels altogether. Um, but what I've done is I've put the, tray, the stuff out of the tray back in the tin, sealed the tin up, cleaned the tray, cleaned the brush, thrown the roller away because i've got a pack of um 10 i'll show you so these are the rollers okay they're the um rollers i've been using so you've got those now um get the good ones they're uni pro look they're just good don't buy cheap crap when you're doing this sort of stuff because um you buy the cheap shitty stuff you're gonna get a cheap crappy looking finish i'm telling you now when i do my general painting in my house um, I'm not a professional painter by the way um, but I've done a lot of painting yeah um, but when I'm painting my brushes like my big four inch brush to cut in ceilings and walls and stuff it's like 50 bucks you know it's a top of the range brush if you're gonna do some painting spend the money and get the quality gear the cheap little brushes are useless they give a crap finish the paint won't flow out of them properly and it just doesn't work so don't even waste your time um, and you've done all this prep work, you don't want to go and stuff it up with cheap crappy gear, yeah? Um, so anyway, that's all cleaned, it's ready to go for the next one. I've got to wait four hours between coats, yeah? So I'm going to start putting the next coat on. I can start down the end there, because it takes me an hour and a half to coat all of these. To put one coat on is an hour and a half. So I'll start this process again in about three hours and I'll start at the beginning again um, and then work my way through. So I'm thinking, because I've used the stain stop, I'll get away with two coats, um, which will be awesomely fantastic. Um, now let me just show you this. This is the stain stop. So I know a lot of people are gonna say, which stain stop do you use? I've already told you, but that is it, okay? Um, there is a dual looks one. Um, I didn't use the Dulux one simply because they didn't have any, um, or else I probably would have used the Dulux one. Um, I have put the primer on this as well. So all of these panels have been primed. So I, I used the Dulux Renovation Range Primer. Um, so that's all been primed. And um, then I used the stain stop on top of the primer, and then obviously the top coats um, on top of that. That's about it. This is a satin finish as well, so we're not going for the gloss look. So these look glossy at the minute, but they're drying out fairly um, flat looking and satinish, um, which is what we wanted. Um, and now I'll just quickly run you upstairs and we'll have a look at my kitchen that I've got in pieces at the minute. Okay, so I've got my coffee waiting because I'm having a coffee in there. This is a panel that was painted. Um, a week ago and look at that absolutely beautiful look at that finish um, so that is awesome as you can see the kitchen is in bits we've got new bench tops coming I painted the tiles as well um, in the same paint now this paint I'm using is the one with the hardener in so you have to put the hardener in it isn't the one that Jewel Looks recommends 
their water-based one in the tin. This is the one you mix the hardener in, you stir it around for five minutes, and it gets applied there. I think you've only got 10 days to use it and it's gone, all right? So it's the one with the hardener in, all right? Um, they do recommend with the doors, you just use their water-based one. I wanted that extra hard surface, so I wanted a paint with a hardener, which is why I went down that track. Um, so as you can see, I've painted all these panels here, these panels here, and you can see, this is where the dishwasher goes. So I've just left this like this because I wanted to see what it looked like, coat after coat. And that one there, that's coat one. Yeah, so you can see it just didn't cover. That's coat two. Again, not brilliant when you look at this. That bit there is coat three, and then this is coat four. So that was done, the microwave hole was done, and then the front faces and that have all been done. Front faces there, you know, all around there. The kickboards as well, so I've just painted all the kickboards. And um, look, it's a hell of a job. I'm telling you, this has been going on now in the kitchen for two weeks now. Um, it is not a quick job. If you're not a patient person, you can't wait the four hours, whatever, you're not going to prep it properly. Just don't waste your time and money. It ain't worth it.